Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how you can enable and use SSH on your Raspberry Pi. If you don't already know, SSH allows you to stream your Raspberry Pi screen to your PC. This way you don't need multiple monitors to use your PC and your Raspberry Pi at the same time. All you're going to need for this is your Raspberry Pi with Raspbian already installed on it. If you don't know how to install Raspbian, just check out my previous video. And you're going to need a service called Putty, but I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the content that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd smash that like button. And now let's get started. So just click on the link in the description and this will redirect you to the putty download. Just press over here and download the MSI Windows installer for putty for either your 32-bit or your 64-bit system. In my case, I'm going to install it for my 64-bit system. Now just click on it. All right. And open it. Just press next and change where you want to install it. Personally, I want to install it on data D on my hard drive. Press OK and next. Install putty files. If you want a shortcut, just press install and click yes. And now you're done. Alright, now that we've installed PuTTY on our desktop, we need to switch to our Raspberry Pi and enable SSH. For that, click on the Raspberry Pi logo and hit Preferences, and then Raspberry Pi Configuration. Now go to Interfaces, and you can see SSH right over here. Just click Enable and OK. The next thing you want to do is find out what the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is. You're gonna to have to remember it for a minute. Just hold your cursor above the Wi-Fi logo and you're gonna see your IP address right over there. Just remember it and now you're gonna to have to switch back to our PC. Okay, I've just switched back to my PC and I'm gonna open PuTTY now. I'm gonna type in my IP address over here and I'm gonna leave the port the same. Just need to make sure that your connection type is SSH. Now you can give your session a name, for example, Pi4, and hit open. Now you need to log in on your Pi, make sure that it's you, just type in Pi, and the password should be Raspberry if you haven't changed it. Personally, I've only just changed it to 1234. Now hit enter. Now you have full access to your Raspberry Pi through the terminal, and you can do whatever you want that you would usually also do on your terminal on your Raspberry Pi. Every time you open PuTTY again, you're going to need to type in your IP address again, give it a name, for example Pi4 again, open it, you need to log in again, type in your password, and only then do you have access to your Raspberry Pi. I have a little trick for you that makes all of this so much easier. Just need to click on properties and over here, this is target. Now you need to uh, blend that one out. And I have a little text in the description. Just copy it and paste it over here. So what this does is it selects what to open. So your putty program, you just need to choose where you saved it, if it's on your drive D or wherever you saved it. And your IP address over here, just type in your IP address over here, type in your username and your password. In my case, it's 1234. Now click apply and OK. And now you'll see if you double click on this, it will open everything, log in automatically, type in the IP address. And this is so much easier than having to type in your IP address every single time and your username and your password. This just makes it so much easier. This method should work perfectly fine for you, but if it doesn't, if you have some issues with it, 
just comment below and I'll make sure to help you out. Apart from that, that would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope I could help you out. If you found the video helpful, just make sure to like and I'll see you in the next one.